pray for each other, not that all the dogs free. Yo, 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 what's up, guys? It's Arthur here, and today's tutorial I will show you guys how to make that amazing RGB effect absolutely for free in the winter. So, the only package you will need is the software package. But other than that, please drop a like and a sub, and don't forget to turn on that notable so you can be the first one to use these amazing effects. But other than that, let's get right in the tutorial. Basically, now I'm in the winter soul and I'll basically show you guys how to make the effect. The first thing you want to do is to time wrap your clip and sync it up with the music. You can actually use whatever time wrapping you want, but one thing that's really important, and when I mean really, I mean that it's really important, that is that your kill slow-mo, so the slow-mo that comes after the kill, is on 25%. If you don't know if it is on 25% or don't know how to make 25%, then press new clip and press Control R on it, and then read and control should show up. And then the right part of the clip, you should see like a percentage, then a arrow kind of pointing down. Basically, if it stands for 50 for you or more, basically just press on that arrow and press change speed and change it to 25%. That will basically not mess with your term mapping anything, just add more slow-mo. And they recommend that you should use optical flow in your project settings down here. But then basically you're ready to go to do the effect. So basically we usually start with the build up but now we will actually start with the impact because that's kind of the hardest part. Basically how to do the impact is first off just go to FX right there and drag in an adjustment clip and make it so it starts on your shot of impact. The shot of impact is the first room you see the damage numbers appear. Make sure you don't make the adjust clip short because that will mess up the priest we're going to use. So basically drag the whole adjustment clip and make it so it starts on the shot of impact. I'll tell you guys later when you can make it short. But now we actually need to do one thing more. That's actually drag in another adjustment clip right above the first adjustment clip we put in and basically just drag it in and make it to the start on the shot of impact. Everything the same, just one layer above. Again, don't make it shorter, I'll tell you guys later we can do it. What you're gonna do now is you're gonna right click on the first adjustment clip we put it down and press open infusion page. Then in the description you should find the gold ruffle there and in that gold ruffle you should find the preset called first layer impact RP. Basically just stone that preset and just drag it in like this. Don't mind these two eclipses above basically just connect it for some of you probably for the most of you are actually this like glowing part won't be on your damage numbers because i did this preset onto my effect basically how to fix that is you just press on the first eclipse up up here and basically you can zoom in by holding control and zooming in and then basically just dragging around this like green circle and make it so it's around your numbers don't play around with the soft edge or anything else just drag it around and make it so this on your numbers do that to the second eclipse too. Just drag it onto your numbers. And everything else should be good. Uh, then basically when you've done that, everything will be keyframed as usual. You can go back to the edit tab, right click on the just clip and press render cache color with to just take away some of that lag in it. Of course my DaVinci Soul class. I'm sorry guys, my DaVinci Soul just crashed but I'm loaded up again. Basically now right click on the adjustment clip and press render cache color put to just exit some of that lag. But now Bex actually we're gonna right click on the second adjustment clip above that we made and basically press open infusion page. And now in the same gold ruffle you should find the preset called second layer impact. Basically just turn that preset and just drag it in like this and connect it will be kind of a zoom out and zoom in and a shake. Just a lot of good stuff, you know. Then basically go back to edit tab, right click on just going clip and press render cache color output. But basically when you've done that it should look something like this. Quite good. Uh, like and now it's basically just the build up left to add and that's basically the easiest part but we can make both of the just clip short enough from the end if you want but now we're gonna add the build up as I said the same thing you just go to FX and you get an adjustment clip but this time you make it so the adjust clip ends on the shot of impact and make sure you don't make the adjust clip shorter as usual so basically drag the whole adjustment clip and make it so it ends on the shot of impact then basically just right click on the adjustment clip and press open in future page and in the same gold ruffle you should find the preset called build up rp basically just don't that priest and just drag them like this pretty cool i play around with it and thought it looks good again right click on the person in the cash color bit and now we can make it short from the beginning if you want but that's basically it for today's tutorial. If you enjoyed, please consider to drop a like and a sub and turn on that note bell so you can be the first one to use these amazing effects in your project montages. But other than that, see you guys in the next video. Bye!